All right, we've got another game here. Jumping in again, we've got Rick Grimes 101. Uh, spawning in the left-hand side of the map, playing a store. Rick Grimes 101 is also known as VOD Sheltie. And partner today in the purple color, playing as Poseidon from the UCA clan. His name is Swiss Boy. And we've also got Odin King the 12th, playing as Rod. Their opponents today in the green color, playing as Loki from the DOD clan is Navi. We've also got our Odin player, Libertine from the DOD clan. And I am Joe from the DOD clan, D clan playing Set. The map is what looks like, I want to say, Painted Desert or is it Blue Lagoon? I never know. Wait, can we see? If I go up, it's Blue Lagoon. Haha. -ha. Feels good, man. Alrighty then. So the last game we had some different players. So this is completely new. This is Shakar Saturday. So we've got just like a bunch of community games going on here. Just like people trying to try and get those those team game rated points up. Um, lots of pure tryhard going on here. We've got we've got Thor. We've got Poseidon. We've got Ra. So some like lesser played team game gods here. I mean Thor's a pretty strong team game god, and Poseidon is decent in team games, but. I definitely don't see this god too often in the old team games. Got Loki here, very, very top tier uh, team game god here, so he's going to be in a decent position to, to do some things. But it is Navi, and I think Navi's a little bit rusty. Uh, Navi's one of those guys who's been around for a very, very long time, plays the game pretty well, but um, I'm not sure I've seen him recently. Got Libertine here playing Odin, so he's going to be able to do a lot of the good stuff, and we do have a set from Joe. So, Joe, we'll see if Joe decides to be aggressive in this game. Um, he's put his three villagers on gold and he's got his uh, food villagers and I don't see any attempt at going for wood here. So after these five, three, uh, based on whether or not the Egyptian player is going to go fast, like four minutes or four minutes 30 or, or do a later advance time with five minutes, uh, you normally see uh, you normally see five, three, two. So five food, three gold, two wood. Uh, but we aren't seeing the woods, so that's meaning Joe's going to be advancing very, very fast. And I guess to the temple is coming down super quick, so that's going to be able to get up at about 320 if he doesn't put any more villages there. Um, yes, so we see everyone's chatting away, giving away their strats. And we are having a Rick Grimes. Got a couple of villages on the wood. Grab his giraffe. What's he going to move to next? He does have this hunt here, which is good, and some other stuff here. Monkey, zebra. Rhino, maybe moving back is the best option here. Grab the zebra, grab the rhino, grab this hunt here. Instead of moving forward and potentially getting attacked by uh, set early shifting sands um, and pharaoh and everything like other. Other than that, and Swiss boy doing his thing feels good. Text, no text being researched. Villages, mind you, for the villages for Odin King and Temple coming down. So Odin King going for a little bit later. Looking like, oh no, he's taking the villages off gold though. Is he going to move this priest over to at least empower the temple? So we do see that this spy has come down onto the villages here. That's good. Very, very good. We are seeing some pigs run back from Navi. Temple coming up. Uh, we'll see. I mean, I don't think it matters that this spy on, on, a, on a food villager. If I'm Loki, I'm not. I, I don't think you should ever put spy onto a food villager. I mean, you might be lucky and maybe some of these villages might move on to the gold mine, but these villages are probably after like the 4 minute 30 mark or 5 minute mark, they're going to be in the base for the rest of the game. So we'll see. We'll see if that becomes apparent here or not. So a little bit of scouting around by Swiss Boy. Joe's going through Tar. Again, it's a little bit late. 5 minute advance time. 13 villages on gold here. Only 4 villages on the food. Joe's builds are always completely whack, and I never understand them. He's got like no resources left. And he's super late to the, not super late, but he's just not as fast as he normally would be to the classical age. Seeing, uh, what are we seeing? We've got lots of stuff being researched. Patar coming through for Oak. He actually managed to get pretty fast. Advanced time there, no, 30%. So 30 seconds behind there. Hermes for Swiss Boy. Rick Grimes, as also known as Shelty's going through Freya. We've got Libertine Freya. Nothing too. Nothing too uh, fancy here, nothing too different. Not seeing Libertines hit that classical age. Some Hersa pumping out from Navi. Ready to move forward. Rhinoceros still being eaten. Start coming through. How's the uh, 
through Woodsage. It's doing pretty good. We do see that, oh, here we go. Huge attack here onto Rick and Grimes and Swiss Boy cast. Cease fights only managed to get one kill there. And that's a lot of priests that get completely, completely prevented there. But that's a trade. One for one there. Shifting sands for, uh, for ceasefire. We'll see where Joe decides to go with this. Got the forest fire onto the wood of Sheltie as well. Do does have a couple of Hursa here. There's Valkyrie over here as well. These villagers, um, maybe maybe at about 15 seconds, should move them back into the into the town center here so they don't get picked off at all. But it's looking like Joe's not going to get a lot out of this. Uh, he is chucking. He's still getting more more gold at this point so maybe you're going to be thinking about grabbing that second down center more priests coming in so it looks like a little bit of a priest rush here from joe and he is look, look he's trying to block these villages he's actually being successful here this is absolutely ridiculous that this is even possible uh because of these animals here the animals are have a, such a ridiculous um ridiculously big uh, uh bumping thing there and a huge forest fire there now you do a lot of damage to all these units but they are priests, so they can heal back up. So, unfortunately, uh, not going to be able to do all too much. But we do see that uh, Shelty has managed to prevent this attack from doing too much damage. He's going to be moving forward, but I don't think this is a great idea. There's so many units here; it's too much for uh, for Shelty to deal with at this point. We do see a little bit of a raid onto those villages there. That is a good raid. It's going to be able to pick up a couple of things. TS is this uh, the, the uh, uh, that's unfortunate. The answer to this is simply just get get watchtowers and that's what's happening here um if anyone ever does this to you as norse uh build one longhouse get watchtowers and build ulfsark uh you don't want to be building raiding cavalry against this uh i mean it's fine you can but you don't need to fight it that's the thing they spent so many resources on this you don't need to fight it. but we are moving forward and, and these hersa are all going to be getting picked off we've got some uh Centaurs getting picked off as well. Lots of death here for our Norse player. These units die like flies. Uh, the Hursa only have 15% pierce. There's a 25% pierce for Swiss boys. So these units do a lot of damage. And the Pharaoh as well really does the brunt of it. So he can really just throw those rocks. So good. But he is forcing them back. We're seeing a little bit of a raid from Liberty now. He does have a Lone Wanderer, which is going to give him a little bit of extra speed to run around the map. Does also need to get out medium infantry, which we don't see is incoming just yet. We've got Plow coming in for Odin King, and that's about it in terms of the technologies. Nice little raid coming in, but as these guys are only, um, only what is this, unupgraded, you can fire this. Lose a couple of dwarves here, but pick off every single one of the offsides, which is kind of huge. I actually only lost like one dwarf there. Um, so really smart there by Shelty. It does hurt his economy just a little bit, but picking off that many units is a good trade. Always a good trade. Um, and yes, yes, moving around here, we've got the uh, Ulfsark getting chased. Rain does come down right now for Odin King. Talking up the armory as well. We are seeing Odin, at least you see Navi moving in here. He's looking to pick off some of these villages, mining away at the gold. This watchtower does not have crenellations, and these units are a little bit tanky. But the uh, the Pharaoh on the empower of the town center, I know he's doing it to get extra food income, but it's huge to defend because it throws out double arrows. You see, they shoot four arrows, and once the uh, Pharaoh's on it, that's uh, the base, it's basically double damage that it does. So you never want to fight underneath that. If you can help it, we are seeing Joe still going for the uh, priest attack. But again, the uh, defense against this, watchtowers, walls, and you're good. And you just need to wait until you have uh, a lot of raiding cavalry. Get your medium raiders out and then surround the priests and you're good to go. Um, you don't want to be fighting. Oh, it does manage to pick off the pharaoh. Though. That's huge. Good good job there. That's all you needed to do. Run in, pick off the... Pick off the uh, Pick up the pharaoh and then get back out. And we just need to uh, hit that critical point of raiding cavalry. Get out maybe an armory and get out those pierce upgrades. Get the bronze pierce upgrades. And then these these priests basically do no damage. Huge raid onto Swiss boy though from Navi. You know, you're pushing, uh, uh, pushing him back into his base. So that's a lot of village death there. You need to garrison those villages into the into the sentry tower. I'm going to be actually losing one of those. Nope, doesn't matter to pick them off. Very low HP, and we are seeing raids now coming in for Swiss Boy. He's actually oh, he's going to run right past this gold mine. 
He's not clicked on it. He's looking for something else. Maybe maybe back here onto this gold mine. There is a troll there. A uh, very early ping onto this. Going to be very well aware of that. But with the uh, the troll, the villagers going to be moving around. Can move on to those rhino. Seeing the uh, seeing the raiding cavalry taking down this again. Fighting a little bit early. Checking out the population. Sixty five population to eighty two. You need to be. You need to have more population. You need to have medium raiders. That's basically it. Now, the thing that um, that Joe could be doing to make his army stronger is getting out his armory upgrades. If he gets out like hack armor, that's huge. Get you tell, get yourself ten percent hack armor instead of uh, or twenty percent hack armor instead of ten percent, and then these these raiders do even less damage. It can be very 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 useful. And we are seeing Watchtower does pick off a little bit of damage over here, but it's not that much. Come double. Uh, we're seeing Libertine uh, moving in. Libertine says, I know. We are. We are oh, this is going to be brutal if you can get onto this. Definitely need to see some help here. Libertine is moving in. The Libertine's over here, and we do see Swiss Boy. So this is a huge fight here. Villagers are in here. He needs to retreat these guys back a little bit. And we are seeing Libertine is calling the B here. You need to get out of there. You don't want to get trapped, but you don't want these priests to get trapped. There's a lot of resources of, of priests here. And if you can trap them, this is huge. Uh, all he could, what he could do is simply just build an off out of here, wall this off again, and he does manage to trap these. We are seeing the Hippocon moving in. This is a lot of cavalry units, but really nice positioning by Joe here. These, oh, these Hippocon are not doing very well. Get the uh, Raiders around the backside here, and he's just a little bit late on that. We are seeing some more priests entering this, but this is going to be completely cleaned up. This is huge for um, Swiss Boy and uh, and Shelty here, managing to pick up all of what Joe has. And Joe's going to be in a really difficult position. He still hasn't grabbed second town center, and he's still building these priests. He didn't even can't even go to the next age just yet. Check out his resource. He's got no food income either. And we are seeing Navi moving, and he's got a lot of units here. And we have Osiris coming through. Is he going to go for the town center? No, he's not going for the town center. It looks like he's going for the back town center. Might be able to cast flaming weapons onto this. Take down this town center. Take down this gold mine. Bash down this gate very, very fast. We have a couple of axemen here. These raiding cavalry should be able to just chew these guys, chew these guys through without too much losses. Valkyrie is coming through, but here it comes, the son of Osiris. Always going to be huge. You see a little bit of a locust here. Does manage to pick up a couple of those, but it doesn't do that much damage. And these guys are mostly going to be. Oh, he's, what's well, going to be fine that he did not click back into his base. So the Hippocon is going to pick up most of those guys as well. We do see Shifting Sands does come in to save some of these villages. Does move one of these uh, one of these Battle Boy here as well. And also Mythic Age comes through as well. Now, we've got these villages. Not these villages. These raiding cavalry picking up all of Joe's priests. And Joe just being a little bit troll here with the priests. Um, and he was in a good position. He did a lot of damage. But he did not need to continue this way. He could grab second town center, third town center, chucked up his barracks, boomed, and he would have been in a really good position there. Now we see the uh, the mummies are coming in. Mummies are a great defense against what Loki brings because they can one hit those battle ball and any other myth unit spawn that comes through. You just see that lots of these guys are dying. They're going to be retreating out of there. More of these units moving in. Actually going to be pushing off the gold line, which is really, really big. But... Pharaoh, not Pharaoh, Son of Osiris, and the uh, two mummies coming over as well. We'll be able to take off some of these. Swiss Boy does hit the Heroic Age through Dionysus here. Uh, so that's going to help him out a little bit. He's going to have a bronze to deal with. Or well, maybe put some pressure on and even get some sort of uh, attack onto a gold mine or something like that. Um... Well, this is going to be really difficult for Joe, right? He's losing a lot of units. Got all of these medium raiders here. Uh, sh copper shields are here as well. And we're taking down the priest and everything else. This is just not enough stuff. He does have a pharaoh here. Pharaoh are going to start attacking. You need to grab some of these raiders just to click on that. Pharaoh and pick him off. You don't want to have one raider picking that off. But he's looking like uh, villagers getting called in here to, to fight. And that's going to actually maybe stop this. But stop this attack from happening. Maybe? Not sure. There's so many raiders here. Can't actually see how many. Uh, we are seeing 104 population to Joe's 48 population. So this is just Joe getting completely overrun here by Shelty. And we've also got the heavy Hippocon in the back here. Libertine casting Frost over here. Uh, it's a little bit, little bit late to help Joe. 
uh, Joe out. He needs to get out the uh, the spearmen, but he's just a little bit slow in getting those out. And even even with them, he needs to have like full population, and he's just not going to be able to get there. Uh, Shilty's still sitting on one town center, though. He is grabbing his second. So that's going to push him even further in front. Let's have this food in common. We do see flaming weapons does come down. He's able to pick off some of this. But the mummy. Mummy, need to get those Hursa onto that mummy. Where is the rest of... I don't know where the rest of uh, the, the base is. He is actually able to pick off one more uh, battle ball before before it's all said and done there. Frost Giant out as well, which is really, really big. And Pastry Strauss is going to be getting picked off as well. Some of these cavalry are getting around. are going to be trying to raid. Actually going to get some really big raids in here as well got the uh battle ball movement in here as well in order to try and pick off these camera but it looks like they're just going to be getting in and out of there at this point got the speed advantage now what do you do you're going to move these guys in and grab this town center got so many options go to the mythic age get that hell coming through got a uh, swiss boy trying to do what he can do but libertine's got his old suck out already and we are seeing uh that frost was enough to help joe defend at this point gonna force shelty back but the big problem right now has to be Joe's economy. He's got like no, he's got such a small amount of villages at this point. 30, 29 plus 11 is like 40 villages. So there's something like 45 villages here if, if I missed a couple. Uh, so he's really hurting at this point in the game, 16 minutes of the game. You're normally used to seeing Joe at max population, but, uh, or max civilian count. But he does have the counters out at the moment. We've got the Spearman out in order to deal with these raiding cover, which is going to force um, Shelty to start having to build those throwing Axemen, which you hate to see as Norse. Norse doesn't like throwing Axemen against Egyptian, because once Egyptian gets out those raiding, I don't know if raiding cover, those chariot archers, the uh, throwing Axemen really, really die like flies. But we do have Battle Bore out as well, so that's enough to force uh, force Joe back. Uh, there is a couple of priests here, and he's going to need those out, but we're going to be seeing flaming weapons fairly soon. Uh, moving forward, we do see those spearmen uh, coming down. Oh, Swiss Boy does have the Earthquake coming through. Where is he going to use it, though? Maybe the uh, Kevin Kamori can run in here and attack the town center. Uh, Navi's still not hitting that Mythic Age himself, which a little bit late considering what we've seen from a lot of the uh, the notable Loki players. We've got this four-headed Hydra moving in to be able to pick off a lot of what's going on over here. Got the Son of Osiris out as well and really pick off these Frost Giants. And EQ now Libertine calls. Earthquake is on to Joe's. Uh, town center, but he doesn't manage to pick it off. I only really managed to get a couple of a uh, couple of houses there, which is actually really really good for Joe. He can continue here. He does not flat out lose. We've got the uh, Libertine um, All Stars coming in as well, but they can just uh, I'm not sure what they're doing here. They're just here for the defense, but he's got Rick Rhymes moving in with the Battle Ball. Uh, that should be enough here. If he can move these guys in, oh no, he's going to be building long houses in order to defend this. Uh, I like this. Able to defend this one. We've got the uh, throwing axemen moving in. We've got a couple of raiders. Need to get the raiders to pick off those uh, those priests and get the uh, throwing axemen to target down the spearmen. That's the general the way you want to play this one. We've got Joe running the villagers forward. Not sure what he's looking for here. Maybe looking for a gold mine or something or a side build. With the Chimera coming up, picking off a couple more of those Joe villagers. Under a lot of pressure here, Joe is. And uh, the Battle Ball also getting picked off. Heavy old Sark losing as well, feeling bad. And we are seeing, oh, we do see the champion Camry is up. Libertine does say up. Is that through? Oh, he's going through Baldur though. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. It's going to be something you're going to have to deal with, that's for sure. But maybe Fimble Winter, just for the fact that it hurts everyone's economy for a minute, gives Joe a little bit of breathing room. Uh, it's not going to win you the game, but it may allow you to stay in here in order to deal some more damage. Somewhere we're seeing uh, a bunch of houses and granaries getting thrown up, but uh, Swiss Boy got coming in with the chimeras all over this. Um, looking like he's going to pick up all these, looking like a bit of a barbecue here. And, and Joe's just saying... And he's just, Joe's just trying a little bit. Let me farm. <laughs> no, he's, uh, he's, gonna, he's not having any of it. He's not having any of it. We've got the... Uh, Champion of Paspis out as well. Swiss Boy is so far ahead at this point. And we see the barbecue happen there. A bunch of those villages full. Still one more there. Just leaving him leaving there to, uh, just to, to do his thing. And uh, Townstone coming up right now. I will see if Navi can do anything here. 
Um, but Migdal Stronghold's coming up. Oh, we've got some more of those Loki units coming in. We don't have health. Still no hell. Attacks coming through. We've got Bronze Weapons coming through. Copper Shields coming through. I feel like maybe uh, Libertine's Armoury is not the best at this point. I'm trying to steal this, uh, this Town Center, Balda. Super close, I think. We see Iron Mail coming in for Swiss Boys because it's so much economy. Uh, and now we've got the raid onto Joe's uh, Joe's gold miners here. And it looks like Joe's not even... No care in the world. All these villages are going to be falling in very, very short. Oh, no. He's actually going to be trying to run them away. Interesting. It's hearing the other ones. There we go. Libertine does cast the uh, the Ragnarok there. But Camori onto Joe's town center. I'm going to pick that one off. And that's no more villages for Joe. Or no more new villages for Joe. Going to be retreating away from me. Got the Heroes of Ragnarok coming through. Down center was prevented. Mark coming up. Force Jelty looks like he just needs to get his own Ragnarok out at this point in order to deal with uh, Libertines. You can check out the upgrades. It's only bronze upgrades compared to uh, the bronze upgrades for Shelty. Uh, still nothing happening here. We've got a lighthouse coming in for Odin. Just really needs to see what's going on. See where the stuff is happening. Pushing these guys forward. We've got the uh, town center. Coming up for Navi, he's got some Ulfsark out for some reason. I guess the Ulfsark to deal with the Camry, and he's probably got those upgrades. Yeah, he's got uh, Swine Array and uh, Call of Valhalla. It doesn't show up that he's got Swine Array, but I'm pretty sure that's not fixed in um, in Weebly. There's a bug where the um, where the, the thing doesn't show up. Hey, thank you so much for the follow tree Tante. Appreciate that one, my friend. Joey does decide to tap out. Libertine taps out and then Navi soon will follow. GG, well played there. Feels a little troll from Joey. It was a very all-in strategy. Uh, if he does the damage here and then pushes in and does the damage here, it can work, but Ceasefire did prevent that. And then he could have, he, he did do some damage though. So that's the thing. He could have just stopped building priests and just built a town center and then continue as normal. And then you get access to ancestors, right? So there's no ceasefire anymore. You get access to ancestors. Anyways, GG well played. Uh, let's see if they want to keep playing. Um, we'll see what happens.